Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Foul Function Plays Darkest Dungeon. It is sort of a welcome back since I've played this game before. Uh, we've done a normal campaign when the game was uh, relatively new. Uh, that I quickly abandoned, uh, I'll tell you more on that later, but uh, I think it's time to go back and uh, reclaim what is ours. Especially since now we can play in Radiant mode, which I'm very stoked to do. And of course, the Crimson Court DLC is finally out as well. I'll be very interested in checking that out with you guys. Uh... In this new campaign, we're gonna start completely fresh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna also just jump right in onto the old road, which uh, is of course how we get to our old uh, estate. At least uh, that was that was uh, left to us uh, abandoned because it was overrun by the worst kind of uh, monsters. So uh, I'll be um, renaming people right away, I think. Um, I did that for up, uh, at least level 3 heroes last time. I'm gonna be confident enough and uh, do this right away. I hope I can keep and uh, enemies, <laughs> uh, party members alive as uh, much as possible. He, our crusader, is gonna be named Jin, and our high woman, just like last time, will be Mar. You guys know Mar; he's a regular. There we go. There's my narration. I was uh, a little bit. Uh, Worried already that I didn't hear the booming voice of um, Mr. Darkest Dungeon, uh, who, of course, I I like talking over as much as possible. So, in case you didn't know about this game, I, I'm fortunately uh, for people who may not have heard of this, I've. Uh, Skip the intro cinematic. It's a really cool cinematic. You should check it out on the last, uh, on the last um, series I've done. But uh, I think uh, most of you will be pretty aware of it. Basically, our ancestor. I don't know if he's like a distant uncle or something. The guy who's talking to us right here. Uh, he has been uh, meddling in stuff that he shouldn't have been meddling in. And uh, he has doomed us all by uh, releasing the hordes of Eldritch Hora upon the estate. So there. Anyway. <laughs> we were... Uh, we were notified to just please clean up the mess that he left. And that's just what we're doing here. And these are our mercenaries, which we'll be uh, making ample use of. Easy money. And of course, after you complete this quest, you can continue adventuring by looking into chests that always turn into traps. Not always, but they, they may. And that's it. Intro done. Like this one? <laughs> uh, I did actually... Um, I did download a few mods. One of which uh, makes this um, you know, final result screen go by a little bit quicker. Which I approve of. Some other... Um, yeah, welcome home to you too, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, uh, Mar and Jin just leveled up. As expected. Yeah, um, this is our estate. Uh, basically, just to finish up uh, with the mods thing, um, all the mods that I've installed are strictly um, cosmetic. Like, 
like some of the mods, for example, uh, add additional color palettes to our heroes here. I think he was green. I'll stick with the ones that we are uh, started in. And uh, yeah, we're just going to explore all these places within the estate. Got a st stagecoach, of course. And here we get to recruit some people. What better laboratory than the blood soaked battlefield? Hmm. Yep, and a vessel as well. So they will also get their names. I'd say, what the hell is that kind of name? I think the W got added by me, but fits you. That's, that's pretty cool. The W kind of <laughs> made me uh, stop there. This is going to be Mokikisa. Uh, if you're not aware of her, that might look as uh, weird as it did to me just now when it says Fates you. But uh, she's going to be our Vestal. Don't uh, worry, she will be very gentle with that club. Maybe, maybe not. And uh, our Plague Doctor, which is uh, going to be a really, really important role in our roster. Who should that be? Uh, she is a woman underneath that plague mask. Um, good question. I don't know if I... Uh, the thing is, <laughs> um, the last uh, campaign that I did I ended it very quickly on YouTube, but I did actually record a few more episodes, and I did end up renaming some people, but that footage has been lost ever since. I'll call her... Kaida. Sorry, Kaida, we don't get to see your beautiful face, but uh, I think you're, you're okay with uh, poisoning and, uh, you know... And uh, buffing, well, poisoning heroes, buffing monsters, not the other way around, please. Um, so she will be with her, with us as well. And uh, here we get to upgrade the stagecoach system, which we might as well do already. That might be due to the radiant mode that we can do that right away. And that's exactly what I'm intending. We don't necessarily need the increased roster size, so we'll just move on. Hopefully not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, let's just uh, start up our first mission right away. Um, we do have the courtyard here. That's the new area. Which seems like it's e like outside of the whole area. I don't know. Maybe that will become clear uh, in due time. Uh, for finishing this mission, we get a debuff stone, which is okay. Uh, but uh, I think money and um, crests and like heirlooms basically will be more important. We could just go into the darkest dungeon right away. I've been there. I know what it's like. Uh, it's not a good idea. Let me tell you that. <laughs> okay, uh, before I... Sorry, I still have a slight cough. Um, so, before we actually decide on a constellation here, we should look at, our, at these um, abilities we do have. Uh, Kaida can use everything from the third and fourth position. Um, and uh, so does Noki, except for Hand of Light, which I wasn't gonna really planning on doing anyway. Uh, Mar is gonna be fine in position two, but also in three, which I guess if we wanted to <laughs> let, let Noki kick some ass with Hand of Light, we could in that case, but. 
Yeah, she's better suited here. And uh, Jin... I wasn't even looking. I think those are... Like, the High Women and the Crusader both are... Um, will always be the same, basically, since they're your tutorial characters. They also have the same afflictions and all that. Okay, let's uh, see if we can do our second mission in the same video. Uh, of course we do want some food, but not that much. Uh, I'll take two shovels. We already have anti-venom. Maybe... Actually, we don't want medicinal herbs. Uh, two skeleton keys, one extra holy water. Laudanum is a new item. Soothing tincture, tincture to in your one's mind against the horrors of the dark. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know. I don't think we need that. But, um... I'll buy one anyway, just in case. Maybe it can be used on, like, on a curio or something. So yeah, uh, just so you guys know, while I did continue playing uh, in the other campaign, I increasingly found myself, well, I kept on going and going, I found myself being... Frustrated is the wrong word, but uh, the grind is just too much with that game. And that's why they brought up this uh, Radiant mode. The grind is, when you lose a character, it's really just, you know, what are you going to do? What? Kaida's gonna do is buff the hell out of Mar here while uh, Noki rains some judgment down. That's one guy down. Uh, you always always wanna kill. Whoa. You always wanna kill people as fast as possible and, you know. Of course, uh, kill the ones that are most uh, dangerous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gripping. It's, uh, it's a real uh, head scratcher, I know. Okay, so um, the idea was that, you know, I like this game, but it's going to take me 100,000 years for me to finish. So I was just like, well, fuck it. Um... I'll see, maybe I'll do a more he heavily edited run of um, of that game or whatever. But then I heard that the Radiance mode's, mode's going to come out at some point. So I was like, well, sweet. Then I have another reason to actually play it again. Which is nice. So let's tell the skeletons how ugly they are. <laughs> I love that comic. I don't know if you guys know. There's this comic where it's the Crusader um, holding up his what was what is it called? Um, What's it called? Zealous accusation paper, and it just says Skelton suck. You guys are ugly, and they're like, oh, <laughs> it's great. Um, actually, I want this. There we go. Um, yeah. We got some basic stuff here, I know. Uh, I'm also still thinking to maybe edit this down to just the interesting missions, so to speak, because we've seen all this before, and a lot of it is sort of... Oh, come on. Surprised me, assholes. Uh, a lot of it is um, routine to some degree. So, yeah. We'll see. Also, if I keep... I gotta keep shuffling them out. Um, what was I saying? I... Forget. Forgot. Whatever. It's it's fine, anyway. Um, let's do some tracking. 
and uh, whatever. She's um, a stress dealer unit, so we want her gone as fast as possible. That's basically the idea, and I keep having to switch out without being able to heal. Come on, Noki's gonna gonna uh, get to uh, death's door in the first mission. It's kind of embarrassing. They just keep pummeling her. Oh my god. Um, thank you for the crit. Let's not have her bleed out. Thank you very much. And a lot of it is just... Oh, he doesn't even have a move for, for this. Uh, a lot of it is just... Um, the same things over and over. Some more battlefield medicine for you, sir. Nice. Well, we did it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna... Do this. I don't know. There's nothing really you want to... Like, there's no real great move that you want to do when you know the enemy is about to die anyway. Uh, let's open this up. That's fine. I think we could spend a key, but usually it's not really worth it for those chests. But we are rather low on health for Noki here. Uh, who has the best tra trap disarming chance? While also being able to heal some stress off. That was good. So yeah, uh, basically about that uh, playthrough, I actually got to the darkest dungeon and I did some runs in in that state, but when you ki get uh, killed with a level 6 unit, which is the max, it's just like, uh, come on, just let me try again, alright? Like, we all know I can train a level 6 unit by this point. At least give me a way to more easily recruit higher level people. And I'll see if they address that with the um, with the uh, Radiant campaign. But, you know, we'll see. Always on Neko. Well, I would do the same. <laughs> uh, I can't really fault the enemies for that, but, you know. Uh, right. Let's poison them all. He's gonna die ne next turn, so that was a nice way of dealing with the with the stress-inducing unit. Please heal yourself. Uh, oh, she doesn't have the. Okay, she only has the. What? Uh, I keep mixing that up. Fuck. I thought it was the group heal. It is actually the. Um, the individual heal. That's embarrassing. Anyway. <laughs> Let's uh, never speak of this again. <laughs> and uh, it's not really worth it. If you're not... I don't know. He's gonna die in two turns. What? Okay, I didn't know you could crit with an attack that doesn't even... Uh, that doesn't even inflict any damage, so that's cool. I don't mind. <laughs> you get the stress uh, debuff anyway. Okay. So we're basically done with this. I guess I could just try... Oh, never mind, I can't reach him. But still. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um... Might as well keep uh, poisoning folks. Yes! I like that. I like a lot. So yeah, we'll see how I... where I take this uh, 
this series if it's gonna be more or less um, nice it's gonna be more or less edited uh, it also very much depends on whether it um, the radiant mode is gonna be whoa okay new item uh, yeah whether or not the radiant mode will actually uh, make things go faster so we just got blood the blood the call is unyielding the urge is irresistible only the blood will quell his this thirst I don't know I didn't know I was thirsty I guess let's use this one key here hidden compartment that's nice of course I can't use it <laughs> um, I can kick out the anti-venom and the bandages there we go uh yeah and that's it completed our uh, scouting quest i don't know should, should we do another one hmm. ah it's so satisfying of course you don't really see everything but you can of course hover over everything and then see it that way uh wheel scrounger tough nice last graphs these are all great traits and uh kind of course is curious i don't think curiosity should be should be seen as a as a detriment but hey let me share with you the terrible wonders i have come to know and then you just stop talking all right Okay, so uh, we got two new level ups. Kaida and Noki have uh, have uh, shown us uh, what they can do. We also get to ex have a look at to have a look at our uh, stress um, stress debuff centers, I guess, and uh, we get to upgrade these as well. Uh, let me see, uh, maybe she has... Oh, she cannot pray. And did she start with a critical condition? Yeah, if it's critical, it just takes more money to remove. Um, but apart from that, I can just put her in whatever I want. Uh, let's go have her be in the cloister. We're going to increase the stress recovery there. Could actually do it one more time. Sure, why not? And then actually, no, that was just reduce reduce the treatment cost. That's even better. So uh, she will be stress free uh, in the like the subsequent uh, mission. But also, we got some more heroes to choose from. Actually, should have looked at their uh, things. So she's got extra accuracy, which is great, but also at, at her uh, abilities, because maybe she's even better. Does she have the same abilities? No, she has sniper's mark, um, but she has suppressant fire. But I think accuracy is better. I mean, I could just as mo just as well recruit both of them, but I'll just stick with one. Uh, and of course, you guys guessed it. Well, maybe my friends have. Why does it always add a W? I don't know. Uh, he is gonna be mad because, of course, that's gonna be mad. <laughs> and I think it actually it it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Matt gets um, gets underestimated a whole bunch, and uh, you know, if you were a hideous monstrosity that transforms into actually, never mind, the other way around, <laughs> that he would he would kick some serious ass. Uh, but who is going to be our arbalist? Um, I don't know that many women who watch my channel. <laughs> 
guess it's gonna be Salila. Why not? Uh, is there a different thing with a lighter skin color? Because she's not actually... She doesn't have a dark complexion. I guess that's the brightest we can make her. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be our squad for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. You guys tell me how you like our playthrough so far and what I'm uh, planning on doing with it. Um, and if you don't know much about uh, Darkest Dungeon, it's a great game. You should all totally buy it uh, unless you are chicken and uh, <laughs> the constant dicking you over by random chance is too much for you to bear. Although maybe the Radiant Mode will address that to some degree as well. Who knows? Uh, anyway, thanks for watching once again, and uh, I'll see you next time.